What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Metal Punk Gaming. As you can see, I have a pretty big box right there in front of me. I know it says large guitar, but trust me, it's not a guitar. I can't even play the one I have now. Uh, but this is our first, our very first unboxing video, so... Fuck yes, trying to... There we go. Um, I got this package from GameStop on Sunday. The UPS guy just dropped it and ran. No knock, no nothing. Luckily, I went to go take the garbage out and it fell right at me, so... Would have been there till tomorrow morning or when my dad got home from band practice. But today we're going to unbox it um, and let's do it. Also, uh, after this, I'm going to review it. So, um, yeah, so let's do it. Wow, the box is a little, a little fucked up, but it's all right. All right, cool. So. See if I can take this fucker out. Sorry, you got to stare at my ass for a second, but I don't have a choice. All right, today I got the the Bioshock Infinite Sky. Can you guys see that? Yes, you can. I got the Bioshock Infinite Skyhook. Uh, this is created by a company named NECA. If you don't know who they are, um, I think I think they're based in New York City. Or sorry, it's the motorized Skyhook replica. I forgot to see that there. Um, you can see it's got the Bioshock logo on it. It's got a nice design of the what it looks like on the front. Um, of course, I just took out the fucking garbage, so now I got to go back out there. Um, anyway, uh, if you don't know who NECA is, I'm gonna move this up. If you don't know who NECA is, uh, they're a company. Uh, yeah, they're a company uh, who makes collectors' figures, like action figures, apparel, and replica props, like. What you see here, they also make uh, the Gears of War Lancers, the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blades, all that stuff. The Portal and Half-Life uh, Zero Gravity Gun and all that. So, yeah, there's one side. Here's the fr the top. It says Bioshock Skyhook Replica. Here's the back. Looks like uh, this gives you a little bit of instructions. If you can see that. One side... If you can see that, let me, uh, you can see that. It says Motorized Skyhook. It shows a picture of Columbia. They, uh, really put the Bioshock logo everywhere. Same thing on this side. has the uh, 2K Games logo. And on the bottom, literally, fucking, the things are everywhere. So let's, uh, let's open this thing up and move this down to the side. Again, this, this package right here is going to be one of... Four unboxings that we're going to be doing. Oh, let me close that again. Um, I have two more packages coming. They should be here between... Um, well, they should be here any day now. And like I said before, I'm going to do the unboxing of the Xbox One when I get that. So, very exciting. Oh, also a bit of information. Um, uh, my friend at GameStop told me that uh, since... Uh, well, I don't know if it's for everywhere, but oh, what's this? This is the uh, the packaging, the fulfillment sticker. Uh, GameStop told me that um, some of the Xbox One games are going to be coming out before the console. So I don't know if that's for our the one by my place, but I don't know if it's out for everywhere. So there she is, the Skyhook. So yeah, let's uh. Really nice. It's, it's all plastic, kind of expected from NECA. But uh, so yeah, there she is. Um, I'm gonna cut this video here. I'm gonna get going on my review. Uh, I'm gonna try to bring you guys a full, full detailed review on the whole thing, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, I'm back with my review. Uh, I think I covered everything so far. Um, I'm gonna get the negative things out of the way first. Um, but first I just want to give you like, like an actual like close look like here's the gears and stuff Closer look all the gears Here and here. Here's some detail. It shows. I don't know why it has a moon But uh, it also has you can see a little guy right here on the, the, the little sky rails and I don't know if you, you guys can so it's kind of hard to see I know I'm sorry, but But uh, you see the uh, kind of like the the wood detail here, 
and all that. And then you see the little forearm part. And here's the trigger. It's a little, li this thing right here, a little, little uncomfortable, but it's okay. Um, and you can see the hooks actually, the hooks actually uh, open, which is kind of impressive that they actually did that. But uh, here's the other side. Better look. As you can see, they say sky hook on it. Uh, you're, you're probably reading that backwards. I know I am, but uh, it says sky hook on it. And uh, here's all this. This is just uh, stuff like this. It's just for show. It doesn't really do anything. And then again, the other side. Here's, I don't know what the hell this is for, but it's just, they just put it there. Uh, another thing is, I'm going to turn the light off here. Uh, you see, it says uh, sky hook. And it shows a guy sitting there, and it says, uh, what does it say? Pick whack fine. Pick whack fine sky hooks. And it just shows a guy on there, like that shit. And, you know, he's just being pimp, like always. Uh, and then there is something else on the. Oh, here it is. Another thing on the bottom here, it says, uh, RJ Pick whack, uh, Manufacturing Company, 1905. If you, I don't know if you can see that right here. This thing's a little... It, it, it's not really that heavy, but... So there's that. Um, now, to the actual review. Um, well, like I said before, th these things right here are pretty uncomfortable. So, like... Yeah, it, it, it's really, really uncomfortable to have like that there. So you gotta, like, tweak your shit to, like... You know, to make it work. So, like, yeah... Yeah, the fucking trigger kind of hurts the finger, too. Uh, and if you saw that, there's another problem. As you can see, these two gears... Oh, uh, when you pull the trigger, this whole thing kind of shoots up, which... This thing shoots up, which makes uh, this go. As you can see, but... Uh, if you can see this little gear right here, that's kind of a little tight against the... Hold on, let me just tighten, uh, screw that a little bit. Uh, give me one second. Alright. Um, this is supposed to be, like, this gear is supposed to connect to this gear right here. Uh, it's a little hard to see, but it's supposed to connect to that. But as you can see, it, uh, it, it locks right here. It gets caught on this wall. Uh, it gets caught on the wall of this gear right here. So, like, in order to, like, actually make it work, you have to hold it, like, GTA style, like, at, like, an angle. And then it'll work. But aside from that, this thing works pretty nice. Um, another thing is another thing I have a problem with is that well, basically the box is false advertising because it says mon it says motorized, but there's nothing really motorized about it. You're just sitting there fucking pulling the trigger, and uh, and you're you're pulling the trigger like it's fat like in order for it to go. So that, that's that's not really motorized to me like when I think motorized I think of like you know batteries and gears and stuff well not these gears but like actual gears with like a battery that will make it go farther um, another thing I have a problem with is well obviously it's 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 all plastic so like um, it says like on the box it says like the faster you pull the trigger the more faster this thing will go or like like the the more you pull the trigger, the faster this thing will go. But I have a feeling that like when I do that, I feel like I'm gonna break it. Like that's that's what you get for making things like this out of plastic. Um. Anything else on the negative side about this thing? Um. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just plastic and like it's this gear. I kind of have a problem with right here. The this the handle and trigger are really uncomfortable. And uh, I just I feel like I'm gonna break it. So that's that's actually pretty much it for the negative side. The good side, the positive side about this is well, obviously as you saw, it's pretty damn detailed. I mean, like it's really detailed. Like I don't know if it's really hard to see, but you can see like the actual nicks and stuff in here. Like it's been like battle worn and stuff. Like the little gashes and the nicks and the cracks and all that and all this. And you can see like. You see, like in, in the wood, 
right here where it's like all starting to like splinter and stuff like again like it's been battle worn so that's really cool uh i like how they like paid attention to like massive detail on this but again like every prop and every replica they always have to have like the the things that completely fuck it up like this thing right here the fucking little um this oh, hold on let me just fucking sorry that that shit right there the little fucking warning stuff or like the I don't know what you call it, the, uh, trademark, I guess you can say, and then, obviously, there's the fucking, the, the, the screw holes that they could have, like, filled up or something, or made it look like, well, there's one right there, and there's, like, three on, there's three on each, each hook, and, uh, but aside from that, everything else, oh, and there, there's one right there, my bad, sorry, one, one there. But aside from that, and then there's a bunch on the, the handle. But, I mean, the ones on the handle look like that they actually belong there. So, that that's okay. But, uh, also a thing with, the, a good thing about this is, well, the price was obviously pretty good. Uh, I got this, uh, it was $79.99 on GameStop.com. And, uh, I paid, like, two-day shipping for it. So, it was, like, 90s. 743 or some shit like that um so the, the price was actually pretty good it, it got here pretty uh, again it got here pretty quick that's why i chose two-day shipping um also another thing is that like these the forearm pads right here this thing right here and this thing right here is actually not plastic it's like a faux leather or something so i kind of like that that's that's nice it's 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 that that this part's actually comfortable but it's just holding it like this. I mean, like, holding it like this is fine, but when you start to put in the fucking trigger and stuff, that's when it starts to get a little uncomfortable. Um, yeah, just, like, mainly, like, the attention to, to detail on this thing. That's uh, what uh, NECA has actually, like, mastered is detail on all of their, their replicas. Like, uh, the Lancer, I have, uh, actually, no, hold on. Put that down for a second. Here, come with me. You're gonna take a field trip. You guys are gonna take a field trip. Nightmare on Elm Street poster. As you can see, my, uh, my Lancer is actually, like, really detailed. Uh, see, shows, like, the, the dirt and grime and, like, the, the battle wear and stuff. As you can see, like, the little lights and all that. The, the little attention to detail, like the scope, the other scope, the, um, all that. So that's a good attention to detail. Um, that's, again, another thing that NECA has actually mastered. Um, and from what I've seen with the portal and the gravity guns and all that, and the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade, all, all detailed. But, of course... The one thing NECA really needs to change is stop making their shit out of fucking plastic. Because... Literally, like, the first week I had my Lancer, it fucking... Things started to break on it. So, they, they either need to make it, like... Because, like, look, this thing is, like, really, like, flimsy. Like, I don't know if I can... See, look, this shit's, like, really, like, flimsy. See, it, it, it moves too much, and I, 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 don't, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I like my shit to, like, stay, like, still. So, uh... I think that's it for my review. Um, I think I probably left some, some stuff out, and I, I don't doubt that I did. Um, again, this is unboxing number one of four that I'm gonna have between this month and next month. Uh, I'm expecting two more packages. I don't know when they're gonna be here. And also, I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the Xbox One. So, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> fucking box. I have a little thing to, like, keep the fucking box closed, not just, like, popped up. It kind of scared me for a second. Um, so, yeah. Uh, like and favorite if you guys enjoy... Oh, sorry. Um, also, like, I just want to mention that, like, the reason why I, I got this, the Skyhook, is because on, uh... Last Saturday or whatever, last Saturday, the the last, the past Saturday, I don't know what you want to call it, the fucking, 
the 12th. Okay, say the 12th. Uh, Steam had a 2K game sale, and I got um, Bioshock Infinite. Uh, one of the games on sale was Bioshock Infinite, and I actually got it for like 13 bucks. Shut up. Uh, I got it for like 13 bucks, and I really that's one of the games I really wanted to play. Like the whole like the, this whole year, Bioshock Infinite was one of the games I wanted to play. So. I finally got it, and like the first, after like waiting for like six hours to download it, I finally was able to play it, and I just instantly fell in love with the game. It's uh, it's, it's really amazing. Uh, so far, Elizabeth is my favorite. Oh, I mean, I beat the game yesterday, and uh, Elizabeth is my favorite character already because she's not like those other annoying, helpless bitches that you have to escort throughout the game, and we all know who I'm talking about. Um, and, uh, she's actually helpful, so that was, that was really nice. And, uh, I mean, it was just, like, the things you can do with, with this thing was pretty brutal. So, like, then, like, after, like, that Sunday, I hopped on my computer, I went on GameStop, and I bought this thing. So, it was money well spent. So, now that I said that... Like and favorite if you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe for more. Uh, again, uh, we got four more, uh, three more unboxings. I don't. One of the uh, one of the unboxings is definitely going to be November twenty second because that's when the Xbox One comes out. The other two, I don't know when they're going to be here. So uh, one of them is still processing, and the other one has shipped, but it's shipped from China, unfortunately, because that's uh, the only. The only place I could find this replica, I'm not going to say what it is, but the only place I could find this replica was either China, Japan, or Hong Kong. So that was the only, like, problem about that. That should be, I don't know, that's that, That's going to take a really long, that's going to take a while to get here. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play or whatever. I'll see you guys.